I'm Carol Burnett. And I'm Tom Selleck. Welcome to the newest of the Disney Studios, a little bit of Hollywood right here in sunny Florida. But while we're here today in Florida, our story really begins in California way back in 1923, the golden age of Hollywood when movie stars were born overnight and studios were popping up everywhere. And yet a talented young newcomer to the scene couldn't find a job at any of the studios. So you know what he did? He decided to start his own studio. You know what the young man's name was? Walt Disney. Later that year, Walt and his brother Roy opened the very first Disney Brothers cartoon studio in the back of a Hollywood real estate office. In just two days, the first contract was signed and the brothers were off and running. Two years later, production had outgrown the cramped office headquarters, and the brothers built a brand new studio on the outskirts of Hollywood. With movie stars like Mickey Mouse, the new Hyperion studio grew busier and busier, while the cartoons grew better and eventually longer. The phenomenal success of Disney Studios' first animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, convinced Walt that there was a real audience for full-length cartoons and he set for his staff the ambitious task of producing one a year. The only trouble with the plan was the fact that the Hyperion studio was already bursting at the seams. So, Walt and Roy decided to build a new studio from the ground up once again. Name the seven dwarves. Happy, grumpy, dopey, sleepy, sneezy, sleazy, and snidely. It's pitiful. With the profits from Snow White, the brothers purchased 51 acres of land in nearby Burbank. And two years later, the move from Hyperion was complete. Public interest in the new studio was so great that Walt Disney produced his first live action feature, enlisting comedian Robert Benchley to show moviegoers around the lot. Get the idea? Yeah, but he still doesn't move. Just a minute, big boy. Give me time, give me time. <laughs> Years later, Walt dreamed of building a little park next to the studio where guests could, among other things, get a behind-the-scenes look at the movie-making process. But like so many of Walt's dreams, the Mickey Mouse Park began to evolve and grow, eventually outgrowing the Burbank property and moving to Anaheim to become Disneyland. Well, history, it seems, has an uncanny way of repeating itself. A few years ago, when the Walt Disney Company began plans to step up motion picture and television production, it became apparent that it was time for the studio to grow again. It seemed only natural to build an East Coast counterpart to the busy Burbank lot. Here at Walt Disney World, the public could finally get that behind-the-scenes tour Walt Disney had envisioned for his studio some 40 years ago. So, on behalf of Carol and myself and the entire Walt Disney Company, welcome to the Disney MGM Studios. And enjoy your tour.